Okay, once you're done on the wheel, you got a couple things to clean up. So you have this the workstation that you need to clean up, and then you have this big muddy pile here. What you do is you squeeze it out. I know it looks like a muddy mess and you want clean water. It will work. So long, just kind of chip away at it. You're going to need to wipe out the the splash pan as well. This one came off, but usually you just wipe it out, squeeze it out, wipe it out, and squeeze it out. And you're really just trying to get the chunks. You don't, if you have a little gray haze here, it's not a problem. You just get the gray, I mean, you just get the chunks there. And then uh, make sure that the little parts of the wheel, the little nubs that the bat stands on, sits on, make sure that those get nice and clean. And just squeeze those out. These little tiny uh, yellow brush sponges, they will do a lot. So just go around and get this here and wipe it up. Okay, so a little haze is fine. Just get the chunks. Okay, at the sink, I have my bucket from the wheel and I want to do a couple things. I'm actually going to let this sit in here, but I need to again get the, the chunks off the edges. And so I'm just going to, with my sponge again, just get the edges and wipe that off. Because what will happen, and this is so cool, um, you will have the um, excess clay, and there's quite a bit in here. Let me show you. So like there's these chunks that are in here. We're going we're gonna to use that. Uh, a couple things, we do not want the clay to go down the drain. We want our recycling, and it's not that, ooh, this clay is so expensive, but I just don't want it in the, the sink, the trap. It's going to clog it up. Every day if we do this, it's going to eventually clog it. So I'll rinse out, and if once you have the big chunks, you can do a little rinse here and clean off your tools that you've used. We just want to get the, the chunks off. And that's probably fine. We'll pretend that's perfect. And then here's my rib. And I just want to, in my muddy water, we'll get, we'll get the chunks off. You know, with your fingers. And so once this is mostly wiped off, then I could do a clean rinse. Okay, and I'm just setting this aside over here to dry. So once this is all, but doesn't have anything left in it, and the rim is right wiped, I could set this aside, and what's going to happen is the water and the sediment are going to separate, and I could pour the clean water off, and I can work on recycling the other. I have over here a sieve, and it is draining the excess water, and the clay that I get is going to be really fine and really smooth, so I'm going to wind up using that. This is where I want you to wash your hands. So I don't have a lot in here, but it's enough to, again, rinse the clay off, and then you could do a clean rinse with your hands. Now, the clay, uh, I'm in it quite a bit, and it just sucks all the moisture. So feel free to, um, you know, look at your fingernails and do another scrub, and then maybe finish with some uh, lotion. This is where the pots go to die, and it's okay. It has been sacrificed for our learning experience. I have a ball here that will be used later, but what I want you to do is break off the pieces into like thumb kind of, I don't know, thumb size pieces, and it's going to aerate. A big clump of solid clay is not going to uh, be able to be mixed. It's not going to dry out appropriately because there's a little more water in this clay than we really need. Like I can't wedge that right there. So we'll break this up and it's kind of this, I don't know, like a, almost like a coral reef of little pieces that we're going to stick together. Um, this is where we wedged and um, it's pretty clean, but there's like chunks that I'm going to try to, just to clean up, doesn't have to be all the way clean. And then I'm going to just wash out like this. So don't get it really wet, but I do need it a consistency. I can't have those little spots. I got to rub that out. 
So it's mostly, it's mostly um, the weave of the tarp that is here. Okay, you can, if it gets really gross, you can scrape it with the, um, the rib, the little scraper thing, but don't do it too hard because you can warp, you can warp the, the tarp that's here. So just scrub those little bits and so you just want a consistent amount. Um, one of the biggest things is you want to clean up wet. This tarp right here is has little chunks of dry clay. I want to be very careful as I'm wrapping that up. I don't want to like shake it like you would shake out a, uh, a rug because that's going to release all the dust into the air. So when I do that, I want to make sure I'm doing it with a wet sponge. If you have anything big that you need to clean, I had the splash pans that I dunked in here. I don't want you to do this every time. This just fell off, so I you know, might as well wash it in here. Try to keep anything else out of here. I don't have very much water in it, but it's enough to wash off your stuff and then do a clean rinse. So over here, I'm gonna set this aside, and I, that will separate overnight. And in the basin of my sink, I'll squeeze that out, put that over there. I wanna take this, and I want to wipe it out. I have these chunks of clay right here. I want to wipe that out and then throw that in the trash. Okay, I don't want it to go down the drain.